Bed Talk 16. Holy cow, that's a lot of bed talks. So here we are on day 16, and I am thinking about stories. And I am thinking most specifically about the stories that we tell ourselves. When you think about the story that's running through your head right now, what kind of story are you telling yourself? Are you telling yourself a story that is inspiring you to do more and to be better? Or are you telling yourself a story about all the reasons why something can't happen? And I get it. That can be really easy to do right now because there's a lot going on in the world and there's a lot of things changing. There's a lot of things changing rapidly. And that's why it's even more important and more critical to be thinking about the story that you're telling yourself in your head right now. Because here's the thing about that particular story is that all of the action that you are going to have, all of the success that you're going to have or not have is dependent upon that story. And the, let me give you an example. Let me tell you a little story about how I have held myself back from success because of the story that I told myself in my head. So when I started, practically speaking, back, oh my gosh, it's been, well, actually even before that, when I went into the corporate world almost five years ago, I told myself that in order to be successful, I was going to have to, number one, wear fancy suits all the time. Number two, make sure that my hair and my nails and my makeup were always done. That I was going to have to speak perfectly at every opportunity and not make a mistake. And most importantly, and most tragically, that I was going to have to uh, for sure make enough money to get rid of my minivan. And the truth is that I would hide my try to hide my minivan, which is ridiculous when you think about it. Who the heck? You can't hide a minivan. I don't know what kind of weird delusion. I know, Max, just he's like, this is ridiculous, Mom. Um, you can't hide a minivan. But I would, I would, I was so convinced that I had to fit into a certain image or certain persona that I would actually do my best to make sure that I parked my minivan um, as Sorry, we got we got dog problems here. Dog problems, dog wandering around. <laughs> I would hide my minivan or try to. I would park it as far away as possible. I would, if I was walking out with someone, I would try my best to walk somewhere other than near my minivan. Like, so they wouldn't see, they wouldn't see that I was driving a minivan and therefore make an assumption about me that I either A, wasn't successful, B, was, heaven forbid, a mom. I am a mom and I have a family and I drive them around in my minivan. Feel free to judge. You know, I, I didn't, I, I didn't want them to think I was a less, less of a professional or less capable or less qualified because I did those things. So that story that I told myself that because of all of these things that are actually the things that have, uh, about me that make me really amazing and fun and interesting, I told myself that story and I held back my own success. And I bet, I would bet a lot of Cheetos at this point that there is a story that you are telling yourself in your head that is very, very, very similar to that. I can't possibly be successful because the world is falling apart. I can't possibly uh, be fit or healthy because I can't control what I'm doing. I can't, I don't, I couldn't possibly, everyone else is doing it better than me. I don't know how I could ever do that. I try, but I fail. Those are all crazy stories that you're telling yourself in your head and that the kicker of it is, is the only person telling you that, the most important voice telling you that is you. So if you want to make that story different, and I believe that you do, change the story that you're telling yourself in your head. I had a good friend whisper in my ear once. She goes, what if the minivan is really the key to your success? Turns out I wrote a book 
called Minivan Mogul that's going to be coming out soon. Turns out that now the minivan is like a hilarious part of who I am and my business. Turns out that when I changed the story about how I perceived that, that, that no one would listen to me if I showed up in a funny t-shirt, that no one would find me capable or inspiring or competent based on things that are purely a story I was telling myself in, the, in my head. Like, dang it. Don't believe. If the story, let me, let me rephrase that. If the story that you're telling yourself in your head is a bad one, don't believe it. If the story that you're telling yourself in your head is one that makes you feel down and out and incapable, rewrite the script. We forget that we get to control every last thing that's going on in here. Every last thing. So right now, when it's hard, I want you to take a moment and rewrite the script Rewrite the story. I got a dog that is not helping me today. <laughs> Rewrite the script in your story. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, you get to, you are the author. You are the person who gets to do this. So whatever you're telling yourself, make sure it's a good story. Make sure that it's one that you're proud of and that you want to be a part of and that you are the star of. Okay. It is time because obviously Max is restless. He is super, super restless. So here he comes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. How am I supposed to be able to use this? Buddy. Okay, dog's eating Cheetos. Are you guys right? This is a hot mess of a video. Lay down. Lay down. Max says he's always successful in getting me to give him Cheetos. Oh, and by the way, my my t-shirt today, my tank top says, I flexed and the sleeves fell off. That was provided to me by my mom. Thanks, mom. When your mom sends you a t-shirt, you got to wear it. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Tell yourself a great story in your head. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.